What's going on guys? Christian here from CK Wraps. So today I'm gonna be unwrapping my car and then rewrapping my car in one of the new colors that just came out. You'll have to stay tuned for the next video to find out what color that will be. But I want to go over uh, my six hour wrap job and pretty much abusing it for the entire six months with the midnight sun. And we're gonna check it out. My car has definitely seen better days. I sprayed it off and I didn't actually uh, wash it. I, didn't, I just, I'm gonna take the wrap off. So I sprayed it off pretty well, wiped down. And I'm gonna show you kind of what the condition of the wrap is in right now. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos. Don't forget to subscribe, especially if you wanna see the next video of what the new color will be. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. It's sitting right back there. Uh, maybe I'll catch it in the background as I walk around the car. Anyways, let's have a look at it. So, maybe I've seen some better days. There's definitely a stone chip there or something. Uh, I have paint issues here. As you can see, the paint is uh, not there anymore. It's got a little lifting there, very slightly. Remember, this was a six hour wrap job or five hour wrap job. Now this front lip is actually polyurethane, so the vinyl wouldn't normally stick to it. You can see there's a little bit of bubbling right there. I rattle canned it, but again, it's not, uh, not the best paint job to do. Otherwise, I mean, there's some shifting around the light, very minor. Corner still looks very tight. Everything looks pretty tight actually considering how long it's been and uh, how quickly I wrapped the car. So the mirrors, yeah, I just cheated and did a piece on top. And door handle, I did a piece on top as well. Again, nothing's really shrunk or lifted or anything like that. It's uh, pretty thorough. I've got some tree sap stuck to it. It's been there forever. Uh, I could probably take it off. I've, I've taken some of it off already. I just didn't bother. I've got some crazy <laughs> dents in my quarter panel, especially this guy right here. I think a tree or shingles fell off a roof and hit my car. Uh, there's a seam on the trunk. I don't know if I ever showed you guys. There it is though. I don't know if you can see it. But, you see it? There you go. So I cheated with that just to make things a lot faster. Otherwise, yeah, everything's sticking. Everything looks good. And it was a very quick wrap job. I plan on doing a very quick wrap, wrap job again with the new color. Uh, again, I don't need to go very far into the doors because the car is black and I cheat on my car because I just want to get it done. Again, everything is, seems to be holding up really nice. Here's the back edge of the door. Let's see if I can let it focus there. Let's see if I can get it over here for you. There it goes. I don't know, it's dirty. I don't know if you can see. But again, even with leaving very minimal around the edges, uh, there's no lifting. So again, you can see that there's no lifting because if we don't add tension to the edge, there should never be any lifting, even with water and rain and things like that hitting it all the time. I removed the fender just to see if I was gonna be leaving any adhesive behind or anything like that and uh, you know, give myself a little heads up. There's a little bit of adhesive on the edge here, it just rubs off. That's because I pulled against the edge as opposed to pulling it off the edge. So if we pull the vinyl across the edge, uh, it will tend to pull adhesive off with it or leave adhesive behind simply because there's too much stress too much stress on the edge. Uh, most films will do that actually, so it doesn't matter if you're using Avery or 3M or anything else, Texas, whatever. You have to kind of pull it off the edge instead. Again, all around the, the vents and stuff like that, it's not even really tucked in. It's just kind of, I just kind of cut around it. Everything seems to be holding up great. Oh yeah, there's uh, I think lifting, a little lifting down on this side. Yeah, a tiny bit in the corner there also. But again, very quick. Up in that corner, it's totally fine. Again, it's still a little bit dirty, but not much I can do. I did get dirt underneath my wrap. So that's these are actually dirt particles because I didn't remove the fog lights. So being not removing parts off the car uh, can cause that to happen. So this is why we remove as many things as we can so that we can do a really nice and thorough job. And that's pretty much it, guys. I'm gonna probably be able to remove this uh, wrap in about, I would say, an hour, hour and a half. The fender came off pretty easily. Maybe I'll do a little uh, removal video for you guys to watch. But again, 
If you enjoy the videos and uh, you want to see what's coming up, don't forget to like the video. I hope you're excited about the new color, as am I, or as much as I am, because uh, I'm pretty stoked about it. And I'll actually do, I'll do a little comparison video later on, because we got a Rolls Royce being wrapped in sort of a similar color, not quite, but uh, we're going to talk about finishes of the film, particularly the glossiness to the film with what Vivid is putting out right now and then what's kind of on the Rolls Royce or what's going down on the Rolls Royce right now. Anyways guys, I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Stay tuned for the new wrap. Take care.